Wednesday, the 23rd of January 2019, 655 London, Alliance News, stock prices in London on Wednesday are set to resume Tuesday's slide, with markets in the US posting steep declines overnight and trade in Asia mixed. In a busy UK corporate calendar on Wednesday are third quarter results from fashion house Burberry, while miners onto Fagasta and Fresnilla release full year production figures and pub operators Marstons and JD Weatherspoons issue trading statements. There are also trading updates from stationery and books retailer WH Smith and IT firm Computer Center. IG says futures indicate the FTSE 100 index of large caps to open 17.29 points lower at 6,884.10 on Wednesday. The FTSE 100 index closed down 69.20 points, or 1.0%, at 6,901.39 on Tuesday. The four-week rally in equities appears to have taken a breather, with a relative absence of solid news flow probably contributing to the profit-taking that we're seeing. We seem to be running on a lot of speculation at the moment, particularly where the US and China trade talks are concerned, which makes forming a judgment all the more difficult, said Owanda senior market analyst Craig Lamb. Stocks globally have struggled this week thus far amid concerns over the health of the world economy, fueled by China reporting its slowest economic growth since the 1990s and the International Monetary Fund downgrading its global growth forecasts for 2019. In the U.S. on Tuesday, Wall Street ended lower, with the Dow Jones Industrial Average ending down 1.2 percent, BS. In China, the Shanghai Composites is down 0.1 percent, while the Hang Seng Index in Hong Kong is flat. The Bank of Japan kept its monetary policy unchanged on Wednesday, but downgraded the inflation forecast for this year primarily driven by a sharp fall in oil prices. The policy board of the BOJ voted 7-2 to, to purchase government bonds so that the yield of 10-year JGBs will remain at around 0%. The board maintained interest rate at minus 0.1% on current accounts that financial institutions maintain at the bank. The central bank revised up real GDP growth outlook for this year to 0.9% from 0.8% and that for fiscal 2020 to 1.0% from 0.8%. At the same time, the BOJ downgraded its inflation forecast for this year to 1.1% from 1.6% and to 1.5% from 1.6% for fiscal 2020. Still in the economic calendar on Wednesday, the CBI Industrial Trends Survey is at 1100 GMT and in the US the Red Book Index is at 1355 GMT. Eurozone consumer confidence is at 1500 GMT. The UK opposition party is highly likely to support a plan to delay the UK's exit from the EU if a Brexit deal is not achieved by the end of next month, the shadow chancellor has suggested. John McDonald described the cross-party bill a circumplex backed by Labour's Yvette Cooper and Tory Nick Foles a circumplex is sensible and said it was increasingly likely that his party would back it. Cooper's amendment is one of several tabled by MPs to Prime Minister Theresa May's deal, the rejection of which by an overwhelming 230 votes last week has thrown into doubt proposals for a backstop to keep the Irish border open. In a break from usual procedures, the amendments will be voted on by MPs on January 29, Tuesday next week, in another day of high Brexit drama in the Commons which could put May under intense political pressure to change course. by Lucy Hemming, Lucy Heming at AllianceNews.com Copyright 2019 Alliance News Limited. All rights reserved.